Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Orchis Yoisher as Rav Chaim Kanievsky explains to us what Yira Shemaim, what the fear of heaven is really all about. And he now goes off into his encyclopedic knowledge of Kola Torah Kulav, all of the Torah itself written and the oral and the sages, everything. You can imagine how many different proofs he's going to bring to this. Writes Rav Chaim Kanievsky from the Midrash the following. The Amru Gedoyla Hiha Yira. Yira fear, the awe of Hashem is great. Sheshamayim va'aretz la nivra le bischus ha Yira. Because the heavens and the earth, the entire universe, was only created in the merit of Yira, in the merit of someone that is going to fear God. Because as we pointed out before, that's the Tachta Sabriya, the purpose of this world, is to use the world for the right things. And the right things is ultimately to serve Hashem. Only someone that has yira, that has this fear, that has a recognition that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is watching my actions, that is the one that's going to use the world in the right way. Not selfishly, not for the sake of his base desires and all the different other selfish reasons what a person has in their mind, but rather they're going to utilize the heavens and the earth, and of course everything that's in between for the service of Hashem. The Armoni says further, there's nothing more beloved to Hashem than the person who fears from Hashem. The one that has awe of the Holy One, blessed be He. The one that has reverence and awareness and recognition, as we said so many times before, because that's the person who's going to know how to manage their actions, how to control their thoughts how to be involved in Torah and in mitzvahs in the proper way, in a good way, in a positive way, how they'll steer clear from doing averes, from doing the sins that so many of us fall into their trap constantly. Because someone that that is misyari min HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that they have fear from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they are the ones that will use their lives wisely. Mishu Ashir, someone who is rich, v'chacham, and is wise, uben daas, and intelligent, what a combination. A rich, wise, intelligent person. It sounds like this man has everything going for him. The aim beyond the year as hate, but he has no fear of sin in his hand, which means he's not afraid to do the wrong things. Ain beyond the clue, he actually has nothing in his hands. He possesses nothing at all. Why? Because if you have wisdom, but you're going to misuse it because you'll sin. If you have riches, then you're going to misuse them because you're going to sin. If you have intelligence, but you'll misuse it because you're going to sin with it, and you're not going to care to the extent that you'll keep doing it again and again and again, so then what is all the wealth and the wisdom and the intelligence worth? You're just desecrating it with many of the things that you do. And therefore, aim beyond the years, hate someone who doesn't have the fear of, of sin in his hand, in beyond the kum, then there's really nothing in their hand, even though it looks like they have so much riches, genius, brilliance, smarts, wisdom, everything. But it's worth nothing if a person will not fear the word of God. The Armu further it says, Kol Adam Anyone who contains this very elevated trait of Yerashemaim, of the fear of, of heaven. The Var of Nishmai and his words are going to be heard, which means people are going to listen to him. They will respect him. They will see the way that he lives his life or she lives her life. They'll see that when they make decisions, they don't do it just based on the here and the now. They stop and they think and they envision a world of Olam Haba of the world to come. They envision a HaKadosh Baruch watching over them. They're aware that their words matter and their actions bear weight. And therefore, when they make their own decisions and they do their own things, everybody is impressed by them. They see what is so different about the way they conduct themselves. Oh, they have Yira Shemayim. If that person would suggest something to me, if they would reprimand me, or they would they would rebuke me for something that they saw me do that they felt was wrong, I'm not going to get upset with them. I'm not going to get angry and defensive. I'm going to realize that a person that has Yira Shemayim just like they care about their best interest, they must care about my best interest as well. And finally, he writes over here, the Amru, La'aylam, Yehe Adam, Arum, Be'yira, a person should always be cunning in the fear of Hashem, in the fear of God, which means what, as our sages explain, 
That means that when it comes to dealing with your Yetzirah, your evil inclination, you must be cunning. You must devise strategies. You must figure out how could you go against the ways of the Yetzirah, of this evil inclination, and allow your neshama, your Yetzirah, the good, positive inclination that you have inside of you, overcome, and you will run your life and live your life according. If you have Yir Shemayim, Yir Shemayim is the language of the soul. Yir Shemayim is the voice inside of your neshama that is crying out to you, please, treat me well and do the right things with me. Allow me to get closer to Hashem. Allow me to keep the mitzvahs. Allow me to be someone that is a nachas in the eyes of the Rebbein Shalom. That's Yir Shemayim. And a person that has that, they will be cunning with the Yitzhahara, they will make the right decisions, and everything else that we spoke about today will be a great zechos, a tremendous merit, and it should be a merit for us as we are coming in to the final days of the year, just before we are about to appear before Hashem on the Yom Adin, on the Day of Judgment, when Hashem, one of the main things that He is looking into our hearts to see is how much Yir Hashemayim, how much fear, and awe and reverence and recognition of me do they have. May we be zeicher to build up our year Hashemayim over the next several days and stand before Hashem, the King of the Universe, and be made and admit and be honest with Him that we, we are humble and subservient and we are in love with the Rebbe Yisraelim and our year Hashemayim will catapult us to greater levels of Avedis Hashem for the up-and-coming year. Have a wonderful Shabbos.